how to build connections and LinkedIn is all about building connections and, and you know in an online context and growing your network and positioning yourself as an expert and um, so here's a few tips on how you can actually grow your network. One thing about LinkedIn is that it's it's great for opening the door to professional opportunities um, but, but approaching those new connections should be handled with a bit of delicacy and, and a bit of Bit of carefulness, um, you know, just like you know, uh, if you're networking face to face with somebody, you don't automatically bombard them with what it is you do and why they should buy from you. And it's the same in the this sort of uh, online context on on LinkedIn. Um, you need to sort of personalise your connection requests, you know. And one thing is, don't send out mass connection requests if you're trying to build your network. One thing is LinkedIn will actually shut you down um, and not let you connect with anybody for maybe 24, 48 hours or, or a week even if you're sending out too many connection requests. Um, you know, think about you know why you actually want to connect with certain people. Um, do your research and you know whenever you're connecting with them in that personalised message, um, show a genuine interest in, in what it is that they do. Um, on your profile you will get um, suggested people to connect with and there'll be a little bit a little connect button at the bottom and you can connect that way but if you don't know the person I wouldn't recommend connecting that way because they'll just get a notification to say you know such and such has, has asked to be um, your connection on LinkedIn if they don't know you they're likely to say no so what I would do is click into the individual's um, personal profile and then click connect and through that way, you can actually send them a personalised message like the one here. So, Kira wants to connect with Charles, and, and Kira says it was great talking to you at the design workshop at LinkedIn. They have obviously met. You mentioned that your team is experimenting with new design strategies. They've worked with other design teams earlier this year with similar challenges, and they'd like to share some insights. So, uh, she, she has she has introduced herself. Um, she has sent a short message explaining, you know, um, how they met and so on. And she's also sort of um, tried to start a discussion to pick Charles's interest and, you know, by offering a point of view or assuring some insights into what it is they do. So, and that's what I would recommend you doing. If you are trying to connect with somebody that you don't know, um, don't go in with the sales message right away. Um, go in with some sort of way to pick their interest and offer some sort of unique insights. So something valuable to them as to why they would say, yes, um, I'll connect with that person. As mentioned earlier, um, using keywords in your profile can help people find you and lead to them connecting with you. Um, you can also invite email and phone contacts to connect with you on LinkedIn. And you can also ask to be introduced. So if you see somebody that you want to connect with and you have a mutual connection, you can ask them to be introduced. So it's a few ways to sort of build your your, your personal network. Um, growing your business page followers um, can be a difficult task. Um, you know, a lot of engagement is on a personal profile level. But one thing you can do is get your employees um, to play a role in promoting your content, uh, whether they share your content or whether they share your actual profile. Um, you know they can like the posts, they can comment in posts, they can tag people in posts, they can share the posts. So your your employees can play an integral role to sort of spread an awareness of your of your business profile. You know you can add a, a LinkedIn URL to your your website or your email footer, um, which can help people find your your LinkedIn page easier, and uh, they can then like it when they're there. Obviously you can encourage customers to follow you. Um, you know via messages via um, generally talking to them via you know stuff on your website or content on your website or content on your emails and so on so loyal customers can follow you too and a, a new thing I, I've noticed over the past couple of months maybe it was during lockdown and, and maybe no sort of networking or much business happening and that you can now invite your connections to follow a, a company page or a, an event or a a group as well so you can invite connections to follow your company now too. Now one thing I would say is that those are just some shortcut ways to build your, your LinkedIn network both on a personal and a business level. The, however the best way to grow your network is to 
consistently sort of provide organic and, and maybe some paid content that's unique and relevant and insightful for you, the, your target audience. You know, that way you gain likes or you're mainly interested in what it is you have to say and what it is that you do. You know, they're the ones that are going to amplify your content and, and in the end actually buy from you. We're going to talk a little bit about that content in, in, in a second, but th that is the best way, and it, it doesn't happen overnight, it does take a, a period of time, but that is the best way to grow your followers, both on a personal and, and business um, perspective. 